We are back. Uh, Jimmy Various will be playing Rafael Debreu in a fifth, sixth place match. Rafael Debreu defeated Thomas Haas. Sorry, just had to refresh. Rafael Debreu defeated Thomas Haas seven to five. So Thomas Haas finishes seventh, eighth. The other match, Tom Zippler beat Brian Jones seven to three. So Brian Jones finishes seventh, eighth. Tom Zippler is playing Joe Wright in the other fifth, sixth place match. And we have Sean Wilkie and Nathan Childress waiting in the hot seat match. That will be the next match on the stream after Jimmy and Raphael. While we wait for uh, Jimmy and Raphael to get ready, I want to remind you that the next On the Hill production event will be the Maryland State Bar Table Scotch Doubles Nine Ball Championship, October 17th and 18th. That is a typo on the graphic. It is not the 18th and 19th. It is Saturday and Sunday, 17th and 18th. It is limited to 64 teams, $170 per team entry fee. Cannot have two pros on the same team. Then the next event after that will be the Maryland State Bar Table 10 Ball Championship, November 28th and 29th. $70 per player, limited to 96 players. And both of those events will be held right here at Brews and Cues on the Boulevard in Glen, Glen Burnie, Maryland. Okay, looks like Jimmy and Raphael are ready to go. Jimmy has won the coin flip and will be breaking first. Hey, uh, this time for real, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream and we look forward to seeing you in here in November. Joined here in the booth by Rick Scarlato, the one of the co-owners of On the Hill Productions and also the general manager of Brews and Cues. What's up? What's up? How you guys doing today? It's an unfortunate start for Jimmy as he has scratched on the brake. Yeah, that's um, that's never good on any table, especially on the bar table. I just actually I just lost to Raphael two rounds ago. He's been playing pretty good today. So I'll just shoot this one ball in the corner, roll up a little bit, get a little angle, just kind of stun out on the two ball. straight 
Yeah. But Raphael's a, a big table player for the most part, so there's really no long shot on a bar table when that's the case. So. Where is he from? I'm not familiar with him. New York City. He's a New York City guy. Um, one of the few that came down uh, this time. Yeah, just roll that in. He's going to have a touchy little shot from the five to the six. Um, imagine he's probably going to try to get where he can kind of draw back deep on that side rail there and to the bottom rail. There is a gap he can hit, but I doubt he's going to do that. If he just gets down there underneath of that stuff, he'd probably come out with some kind of shot on the six ball if he can cut it in or a bank. Oh, he played the gap. He did play for the gap. I guess it was a little... See, so he's taking some time here. You can tell he's looking. He's not quite sure. I'm sure he's got it, but now he's got to try to figure out from here. I guess he probably wants to hit this ball some outside spin. Come back up past the seven ball a little. And he just rolls it right in. Just dead straight in. So we got a couple options here. He played a bank, cut it in the side. Could cut it back, cut it in the corner, but and then of course you could always play the safe. I think he's going to cut the ball on the side because you just kind of draw it to the bottom rail and come out. Yeah, just like that. Good shot. Just a little st stop here. Or roll. Straight in on the nine ball. Okay, so Rafael takes a one nothing lead and it will be his break. Raphael's been breaking the ball tremendous. Uh, there's definitely no uh, no soft breaking from him. Breaks from a little bit outside the box. Cuts the one into the side usually. Draws Whitey to the rail and out a little. The Ravens must have scored. <laughs> no, just a long completion. A long completion. Yeah, watch how he breaks the balls here, guys. He hits him good, draws his whitey over. And he missed the one that time, but hits him with a real good speed. Got an unfortunate roll. So we hope everybody's enjoying the stream. Uh, we had like a little test run a couple weeks ago with the tournament at Bruising and Cues. This is uh, our first actual On the Hill Productions uh, tournament and live stream with uh, all our new setup. Let us know what you think.
This time for real. Who is that? So we got a little another road map, as we say in pool, or connect the dots. Nothing, nothing difficult here for Raphael. Uh, I never like having to play shape off of a ball this deep in a pocket. But no, nah, but you got so many options there. He's he hit that one really good. You know, a lot you could have just. You know, took the ball a little bit thinner and went to the rail and out, played it in the five and over to the side rail. You know, played this, you know, in the side and over to the side rail. Or that I get what you're saying though. They're even more tricky those shots on the diamonds because the shelves are so deep. Especially this one. Yeah, this table's actually playing really good. I like it. It's one of our new tables. We just brought it over uh, to set it up just for the stream. Yeah, Derek, come on down. Uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of great equipment here. I'd love to play right here at Bruce. Fires a nine and uh, off to a two nothing lead here. Good break and run by Rafael there. Jimmy to break down two nothing, trying to get on the board. Jimmy needs to control that cue ball. This is another, you know, Jimmy mostly plays on the big table. A lot of guys, when they come from the big table to the bar table, they have a tendency to. Uh, over hit, you know, over hit the break shot some and kind of lose that cue ball a little bit. And that's on the bar table, that's just really, really, really deadly. Jimmy looks a little aggressive there, trying to rack those balls. Yeah, maybe that's normal. We had him on the stream earlier, and he missed a couple of uncharacteristic shots, and I thought the aggressive racking was just out of frustration from missing the shots, but maybe that's just the way he racks. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I mean... Definitely want to get the balls tight, but. Looks like he definitely managed to slug himself there. Yes. But he got a little fortunate. He didn't leave a good shot on the one ball, and he didn't scratch this time. Yeah, I mean, you see Raphael didn't have any trouble, I guess. Maybe they just didn't sit on the spot where he wanted them. I don't know. You know, you got to do with it. You got to rack the balls where the table tells you to rack the balls.
push out. I look for, yeah, Jimmy gave it back. I think Raphael might try to. Uh, no, see Jimmy was the one that pushed. Or Jimmy. Raphael pushed. Jimmy didn't make the ball on the break. Oh, you're, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Long weekend. Exactly. We've been here since 7 in the morning the last few days in a row. I think he's just going to kick behind this ball, try to stick him on the floor. Yeah, something like that. Send the one ball up there. Yeah. And you see him measuring it out. Like, I mean, Raphael, he played a lot of those shots in the set that I played him too. And he hit some really good. And guy's playing great pool today. Good shot by Jimmy there. He's going to get a little love, it looks like. Kind of getting behind that nine ball. Expect him to miss that one. No, definitely not. So, guys, also we have a couple links. Uh, anyone out here that's enjoying the stream would like to donate something to it just to help us be able to keep bringing you free streaming uh, for all our events. Uh, that would be great. Uh, we have a PayPal, we have a Venmo, we have a Cash App, and we also have a Zelle. Uh, give you guys a rundown on our next schedule. Middle of October, I think it's the 17th and 18th, we have uh, an event that we added. Uh, Maryland State Scotch Doubles taking 64 teams. Uh, we look for that one to be a great one also. And then in November, uh, Black Friday weekend, it's a great fun-filled weekend to pool all weekend long here at Bruising Cues. We have uh, the Black Friday tournament that we run annually, and then Saturday and Sunday is the Maryland State 10 ball. So we're working on getting some, uh, some added money for that one now like we did last year. And, uh, you know, this year is a little tougher with all this COVID stuff going on. But uh, that's, our, that's our goal. Got a little puzzle to work out here with the five, six, and nine. Uh, at some point, you're going to want to bump that six ball, I think. He may just do it with the five. It looks like you get the right angle where you won't get in trouble. You know, you'll, you'll be able to play shape with bumping it. Be, do it from there. Still could be okay though. Gonna need some things to kind of go just right with this one, I think. Cut the five in the corner and run into the nine and maybe catch a piece of the six, I'm guessing. Yeah, push, this plan push the six towards the same corner. Yeah. Not a good shot. You got the outside yeah. of the nine to push it over. But you got a little, you know, little tester here, as we say. What do you think he's going to do here, Dave? You think he goes around the table a couple rails, or you think he tries to kill it with inside? I don't know. I know I'd try to kill it with inside, but I also know I'd probably end up frozen to the back of the eight ball. <laughs> Ooh. Got a little fortunate there. Good shot making the ball, but... Looks like he hit it flat, like just hit it to cut it in. I guess maybe he was trying to get up here past the eight ball enough to just shoot the seven in that side. A little different route. Okay. around three rails pretty natural be straight in on the nine ball here good shot Jimmy two uh, to one yeah Jimmy gets on the board two to one Raphael the break
If you guys like the stream, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share the stream. Get it out there to your friends on whatever social media platforms you may use. Oh, yeah. When uh, I was just going over schedule. Also, uh, everyone out there that has uh, that had originally taken off for a Super Billiard Expo, uh, hopefully you saw it on our Bruce page and we've been sharing it, but we have the Expo Relief Tournament. It's uh, three days, 128 players, double elimination. Uh, that's definitely an event you're not going to want to miss. Yeah, it'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 23rd to 25th. You can uh, send your entries in now. You can uh, message Dave Nangle uh, on Facebook. Uh, he'll, if you don't have the payment information, you can reach out to myself. And we'll get you guys signed up and get your payments in and reserve your spot. You know, for the kind of break that Raphael's doing, he's, you know, you can see he's cutting the one ball, right? And by no means, typically when you see guys do that, they hit the balls a little easier. Raphael really hits him with that same break. Sorry guys, we had to take a little break. We got a couple other little board games running around and stuff. We're checking out some things real quick. Probably good two times across the table here. Once, twice. Come out a little bit. Well, he got a little straighter on this ball than he went to. I think that shot actually and I think you want to be a little backwards, but nothing too, too difficult here. He, can, he has some angle. Some angle. He can create more if you if he rolls the ball, or you can create it just by pounding it to you, but you run the risk. Looks like he's drawn back to play Probably. on the side. Oh, that's even better. I think he drew back too much. He's on the wrong side of the eight here. Yeah, same thing. You got a couple options here too, though. You can just roll it in and just take the shot. Yeah. Or you can go up and back, up and back, and come on the right side of it too. Yeah. Raphael really uses the rails well. A little funky shooting over that pocket, but that's the advantage of the diamond table. It makes it a little more comfortable. Actually, the only the only thing I don't like about the diamond table is when you have to bridge on the rail and you're directly on the backing of the pocket. I just feel it grabs the cue. Yeah, the leather part. Yeah. to see a score. The other match going on right now is a great match too. You got Joe Wright and Tom Zippler. Uh, 
playing two tables down. Good break by Jimmy, but he lost the cue ball a little bit and was not able to see the one. He pushes out. From here, local miss looks like there might be some sort of two way shot here for Raphael. Kind of maybe get the one ball on the nine. Maybe take a little swing and stick the cue ball somewhere behind the eight ball maybe or up and back around or something. I don't know. Can you get enough power on it to, to take a swing at the nine and still keep it behind the eight? Well, even if you don't, if you line it up for the next time. Maybe, oh, you know I, what sure I mean, If you get the safe, you know, that's what you're looking for. Playing the safe more than you are that and trying to get the shot the next time. But, I mean, he's definitely in a real funky spot here. So he liked to just kind of get it. It's hard for me to tell. Did he get him? Say, I know he can hit the one. Can he get enough of it to make it? Uh, oh, that was Jimmy that shot that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks, by the way he's lining up, it looks like he can. Just use the nine to hold the cue ball. You can just shoot this in and roll it straight up. Yeah. Stop everything from there. Yeah, you get yeah, the force to stop, shoot, stop, shoot. Yeah, it's very, very straightforward rack from this point on. it was going to get right on top of it there for a minute. Yeah, the left English held just enough to pull it away from the four when it came off the rail. Just draw this one out a little. Stop this one right here. Cut it in from over by the spot. Let's cut it in. Okay, so a 4 1 Raphael. And it is Raphael to break. like to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, GMR Construction. We cover all your masonry needs. And be more detailing, we come to you with waterless shine. You get to see this break again. That one he drew straight back on missing the side, but corner ball is down. Looking pretty good on the one ball here. Got a little work to do with the six and nine, but you know, here's a good chance. Like, if you fall good on the two, you can do something there with it now. 
could even possibly for the two. It doesn't look like the two go in that corner. Might even try to come up, come down underneath of the two and maybe play the two nine and roll the two up on yeah. the six or something. You know, you I guess he's setting for the 2 5 combo. Yeah, I like that shot. You just gotta hit it good. Sometimes you just gotta come with a shot. I mean, the five ball's close enough to the pocket. Yeah, and he's on the right side of it, so the cue ball's gonna go away from the two to hopefully. Well. And now he can play the nine. Here, the, I, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to put the two on the nine and try to lay the cue ball right in there on that rail. Either right behind the six or just a little behind it, but where it's blocked. to play the two ball down the table. I just think from there, I think the nine was a better shot. Yeah, no, I, I tend like to that. agree. Just I mean, if he makes it, you can play the carom, but why not just shoot it now with the two ball and play the safe with it? That way, if you miss you, yeah. you know, you're putting yourself in a little better position there, I think. Now you need to give Jimmy a real good opportunity here. I mean, like, it's a tough little shot, little tough shot, but you just make the ball here. Two rails. Oh, he went into it. See, I don't oh, like that shot there no, for Jimmy at all. Yeah, too easy to do exactly what he did and end up behind the five of the nine. Yeah, I don't. Unless, you know, just from our angle, unless that ball really didn't go. But it looked like a carom was just really on there. Just shoot the ball in the hole, two rails up back out, shoot the three, and then play the carom. All right, so we got to play a kick shot here. Oh, he hit it good, too. Almost made it. Now the nine ball. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice shot on the three. Oh, almost nudges the nine ball in. Good shot there, Rath. Nine ball will make it uh, five to one. Raphael with uh, Jimmy to break. Jimmy's got his work cut out for him here. Not that it can't be done, but and Jimmy's a great player. But that alternate break format, you can see how important it is that you win on your break. for a nap. <laughs> so, right. am I, so am I, but as soon as I go home, I won't be able to sleep. That's the same thing that happened last night. 
I didn't have no trouble with that. Much more controlled break from Jimmy that time. You can see the one made two balls on the break. Cue ball got kicked around a little bit, but. Hit it too hard, but he stayed behind the eight. So Jimmy shoots the one in, comes back over to the comes once across the table here. Shoot the two in the side. You gotta remember too, most of you know this, that are watching the stream if you're pool players, but you know in this game you're always playing a couple of balls ahead in your mind of where you want to play position for, so it's easy to get to the ball after that too. here like he's you know he's a little flat you know he can make something happen with it but really kind of got the angle going the wrong way yeah. this is where you have to rely on your shot making ability I think maybe just stop the ball and shoot it in Jimmy rolled it over I mean, that's okay too but I'd rather have a little more angle with my hand on the table Jimmy showing some frustration there after that shot. Yeah. Like I said, his, his last match was a lot of the same. So between the two matches, he's probably pretty frustrated today. So Rafael is on the hill. A chance to move on. Rafael will be breaking. Another really good break there from Rafael. Yes. Uh, the five ball has gotten away a little bit, I think, for him, but he might still be able to cut the one in. Can, but that would be yeah, it's gonna be a little tough. A little tough to get a good leave on the two if you play that cut. Cuts it in. You can see the edge of the two, but not sure what he can do with this. 
whole bunch of high English, hit it hard and hope. <laughs> no. Yeah, that never works out for me. The only ball that seems to find its way into the hole when I do that is the cue ball. Yeah, he's just playing safe there. Raphael doesn't take yeah. too many chances. You see that? That's a good safe there. Uh, I think he might have left the, uh, from this angle, bottom edge of the two ball exposed. Yeah, but either way. Well, Jimmy can thin it, I guess, and get him behind something. Yeah. Well, a good shot. Yeah, very nice. Saw more, yeah, you see more over there. One rail kick, try to kick it in the side. guys that haven't been to Brews and Q's yet, if you want to come out, Tuesday nights are a great night to come out. We have Taco Tuesdays. We got $3 tacos and two fifty dollars Dos homemade street tacos. $5 shots of Altos, $6 Altos margaritas. Yeah, great place here. A lot of fun. Of course, I'm a little biased, but. Good shot, Jimmy. Mm. All right. We could maybe see this set the over here in two, two shots. You go on the side. He's playing the side or just shooting it, shoot it up in the corner. It looks like he's shooting it inside. Yeah, it does look he's playing for the side. So he's just come. Yeah, he's gonna play the. He was trying to get maybe bump, use a six to hold the cue ball and shoot the four in the other corner. Tricky angle on the combo, I think. It is, but I think being up six to one, I think you play it. And you just try to draw the cue ball down the other end of the table. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got a ball down there. In that case, the ball is pretty big. You got, you know, over there. You just try to. No, he's not drawing. He's, ju he's just going to play safe. I yeah. I don't even think he's playing it on. Yeah. Oh, tried to cross bank the four. And then get the cue ball. Under. Leave him distance. Yeah. See, I think you could have did that same thing. Maybe just be on the other side. Maybe just be closer to the, the left-hand diamond if you're looking at the table, and put a play on the nine ball. Yeah, you know, like that's. But, but this is a pretty tough situation here. The both of those balls are either frozen or awfully close to frozen to the cushions. Absolutely. Tried to thin it and get behind the nine. Actually caught it too thin and came up into the nine. Yeah, but look at where he put the nine. So now it forces Raphael to have yeah. to make a good shot here. Uh, it's hard to tell from our from our angle. It doesn't look like the six ball passes. So yeah, yeah I don't no, think the I six don't believe that ball passes. So now you got to do something here. You got to try to either get between the six and the nine if you're going to shoot. You know what I mean, or you get to play the bank. I think here maybe. Well, the way you got it's the situated, you got the five. You got the five ball next, so he could just try and bump one of the six or nine exactly, here and just get like on that. the five like that. Yes.
Spanish. Just drawing this ball back just a little. He looks like he's gonna go to the rail. Oh, he's playing the play in the side. See, I think I would have gone to the rail, but with left to come out to play it in the corner. Yeah, you could either just drew it over a little or go to the rail with left and play it in the corner, get the angle to come right over on the nine. Now you gotta play two, three rails, touch three rails here. Not that, you know, one, two, three, but you bring the side pocket and play here. Yeah. See that? So, the other way you don't. Jimmy concedes. Okay, so Rafael will move on. Jimmy Varis finishes uh, fifth, sixth. I believe the next match we have coming up on the uh, TV table will be the hot seat match, Sean Wilkie versus Nathan Childress. That's going to be a great match. 